Hello YouTube! We are playing a Just Guy control deck today. Uh, this deck took third, I believe, at a recent GP. So we're already one match in, but basically, pretty standard Just Guy control stuff. Let us go. Oh god, this hand sucks. Alright, I'm gonna be sending this one back. This hand is also not great, but we're gonna hope that we find a red source and our opponent is on a deck that dies to bolt. Cavern, human, human does die to bolt. Okay, so all these bolts should be good. Now, if we have red mana, and we don't get screwed too hard by the magic online scry bug, then we should be okay. The scariest thing here would be if they go Aether Vial for a champion into some two drop. Uh, it does not look like they are doing that. Meddling Mage can't be too bad because we have two different pieces of spot removal here. Oh, uh, yep. So, Verdict is good. If we hit random just blue white lands all the way up the curve, we will still be able to do something. But yeah, we're gonna. Magic's Fire is gonna hit pretty hard. Definitely gonna need yeah that's 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 not good. That's this there's a good chance it's gonna put us too far behind. Uh, I will obviously give it a shot, but it's not looking good for us. Our opponent also doesn't seem to have a lot going on. Alright, that's that's good. So that's that's at least I think I actually want to discard here so that I can cast a logic knot. Alright, so this is casting malcontents. I'm just going to path now. Save myself a little bit of life. Going to three here. So that, this is pretty bad. Um, <laughs> not, don't have a ton of live top decks here. Glacial Fortress is not going to get it done. Okay. Um, I think the matchup is actually pretty good. So not, not super upset even though we lost that first game. I think... Uh, these three cards are excellent, so we'll be bringing them all in. I think counter magic in general is pretty bad. Uh, this negate's probably bad. Click is probably good. So probably just a clean swap like this. In a lot of matchups, we're just trying to cryptic our way into uh, our finishers, so I like keeping those in, but... The two mana counters between Vile and between Vile and Cavern do not do a whole lot. All right, this this hand is much better. We have we have all of our colors of mana. Um, we we'll don't flooded strand. Um, our opponent has a pretty slow start, but I think... What's up, Brecken? How's it going? We... We did not get to cast any of our spells in game one, but... I'm gonna battle back. We 
We have a 1-0 Legacy to protect. I don't know what my opponent's doing this, this game. They're just kind of sitting there. So we are going to keep making land drops. Probably have a probably have some sort of pretty powerful three drop here. Uh, wouldn't be surprised. Thalia, not what I was expecting. So if we bottom a card, we want to keep it on the bottom. So I'm going to fetch here and opt. That's a good card. So we do this, kill off this one. I don't really know why my opponent kept the seven. It does not seem very strong, but that's okay. I will always let my opponents keep mediocre hands. That'll allow me to win. I, I lost game one because I molded a six and did not draw a red source, but this game's looking very good. Okay. Snow the Mantis Rider? Okay. It's a pretty good, pretty good thing. Yeah, my, my real name is Nick. I am a dirty, dirty liar and like to trick people on the internet. Um, I probably actually want to hold that one because my opponent does not necessarily know. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, I, I think I should have actually fielded there because like this I can't actually do anything with this mana yeah they're gonna they're gonna crack it oh that's that's unfortunate they're gonna kill my Teferi too many hasty boys I don't think that's super relevant though. Yep. 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 Um I think I'm fine taking five. I'm at 18, so not not too worried here. Thank you, Jeff, for that host. Um, well, if you want, so you didn't watch game one, which we uploaded on my YouTube channel, but if you had watched game one, I did not get to cast more than one spell and then they soundly defeated me. So that seemed like a pretty good strategy. Uh, if you're having trouble in your local meta, I would suggest that. Yeah, I think, I think we're, we're, we're pretty far ahead here. Like... I, 
I don't I don't really care about that um yeah we'll just snap a bolt maybe yeah we'll snap a bolt Oh, I also, uh, between last stream and this stream, I turned down the delay, so it should be that fancy new low latency stream. Let me know if y'all notice that, or if it's nice or terrible or whatever. Is it hype? I can't I can't tell. That was said right after Brecken's post. Post! Alright, sweet. We have low latency hype. Uh yeah, so this is my board plan for this matchup. All these blue cards suck. Um all these cards also kinda suck. Cryptic also kinda sucks, but we only have so many cards we can we can take out, so we leave that one in. Because fog draw card is still pretty decent. Okay. Sand is also good. Basically, four pieces of spot removal is exactly what we want to see in our opener. Two of them being super cheap. Yeah, exactly. We have answers for the first four things. We have more answers in the form of Wrath of God. And then eventually we cast some bigger thing. The mountains, the mountains are hiding in the scalding tarn. Yep. Yep. not be surprised yeah so the sacred foundry so if, if you look here we have this uh how do i zoom in on this so if we zoom in here you can see the uh this this lava coming out of out of the scalding tarn and that's actually where the sacred foundry is so yeah um I expect to just cast one piece of spot removal here, but in case I want to cast a second, I'm uh, holding. I'm leaving up the scalding tarn. Also, beating humans feels really good. <laughs> when I play other decks that just, I just get kind of smashed, and then I have to like sit here. My opponent's drawing double aether vial against my infinite spot removal hand. It feels good. Yeah, man, my, my opponent drew double Aether Vial versus my Jeskai deck. Like, I, I, I'm not sure how good this card is post-board. Um, definitely pre-board, it's very strong because just straight up your opponent doesn't have enough. Um, they don't have enough. They, 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 I have too much counter magic uh, pre-board. But post-board, like, these, these just aren't cards. I just, I don't. I have so much one mana interaction that I don't really care about it.
My opponent is thinking very hard. I think he probably has a second kite sail. If they violently own an arbiter. Oh, okay. Okay. I feel you, opponent. 88 viewers? 88 viewers. Look at you. I uh, know. I am a popular guy. You're a real streamer. That's what I'm saying. For those of y'all who don't know, that's my wonderful fiance on my head. Hopefully we can get a camera soon and y'all can see her beautiful face. Mm, no thanks. Well, when I get a camera, if you come in here, they're going to see your face. Hmm. I'll have to invest in a mask. <laughs> invest in a mask. Alright, so we have deftly played around our opponent's medley maze by drawing a piece of spot removal in our desk guy deck. <laughs> He's actually shipping me the camera, so maybe I'll get him to send me a goblin mask along the with the camera. Time. Yeah, Jay so. Jawala? Jawala? Jawala. Not JW Hala. Oh dang! This is scary. They're, they're gonna they're gonna take my spell. Oh no! Take your spell. That's so rude. I know. So. It looks like you're losing. I'm I'm unbelievably far ahead. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so far ahead. <laughs> I don't know, man. He's got twenty points. He he does have twenty points, but. Mm -hmm. Geoff, I don't. I don't think my fiance would make a convincing Geoff. She has. She has very few goblin features. I don't know. I could be a goblin. You could. Mm-hmm. Is that is that your new goal? Sure. Why not? Sounds like a better goal than a PhD. <laughs> oh, love. Yeah. So basically, my opponent's deck. They have a bunch of dudes that try to attack me. And my goal is to kill all of their dudes. And each of these kill a dude plus create a dude on my side. And when I kill this guy, I get a card that kills all his dudes. Hmm. So I'm very far ahead. He's got a lot of dudes, though. It, it, this isn't very many dudes. It looks like a lot of dudes. If, if this was going the way he wanted it to go... His dudes have little ones on them. They do. That's because and some of his dudes have threes and twos on them. Um, I think that's reasonable, but I, I want him to attack with this Thalia because I want to like block it. So I'll just grab the bolt here. Matt, I'm the most inclusive. You need to yell at Jeff and tell him to get me a camera. Because he told me he would. He's one of those lazy streamer types. This this is this is a picture of Matt. Mm-hmm. I, I guessed as much. Okay. What well, I, I got to make sure you understand all the streaming culture. Is everyone just going to now post pictures of Matt? That's pretty much what happens whenever Matt shows up. I see. He's he's a pretty popular dude. And he's that beautiful that they need to post pictures of him. <laughs> yeah, so I I mean I could buy I don't even know how to time out people on this. This is a problem. What I cannot time out people via Streamlabs. What does this mean? If, if people are being shitheads. You can make them go away.
Yeah, basically. Are you Bobby now? Yeah. Dude, I, I don't know, man. Streaming's hard. Streaming is so hard that professional Magic the Gathering players can't do it. Remember earlier today when you were telling me how easy streaming is? Yeah. All right, you need to go away. Why? Because you're ruining my rep. You're all, you just click buttons and then you stream. And why can't this idiot figure it out? And now here you are, not able to figure it out. <laughs> click on them in the chat, idiot. Thanks, Matt. Oh. It does look like that. <laughs> Her name's Tori. <laughs> you, you can't apparently tip people out. All right, figured it out. Uh, no, no, bam. Matt told you how. You didn't figure it out. She's mad clout. You got clout, babe. I got clout. Well, yeah, what are you going to do with all your clout? Become a goblin. Become a goblin? Yep. All right. That's the goal, remember? That seems like... I, I feel like you could you could be more than a goblin. No. No? Mm -mm. Goblin's okay. the ultimate goal. Are you focusing now? I'm, I'm playing magic. Well, you're supposed to talk while you play magic. I thought that was the whole point. Well, you're it not is. You're supposed to sit here silently and play magic. It's it's difficult when you got people harassing you. Well, I thought that was part of the game. <laughs> aren't, aren't you supposed to take the harassment? <laughs> Apparently, I'm supposed to take the harassment. Clearly, the people in my chat like it more when you make fun of me. I don't know, Matt. He he won game one because I I didn't I like mold and then didn't get to cast any spells and then in both games, games uh, two and three. I don't think I went below fifteen life. So we're two and one with America control on America Day. Aurora, no. Aurora, you're not allowed back there. No, you're not. See, I saved you. I saved you from the cat. You did save me from the cat. And by me, I mean my computer. Mike. Well, Matt, Matt, what you got to do, so what you got to do is you got to shit on the people who are, who are sitting at the tables around you. So at, uh, what, when I was at the Envy, I'm, I'm watching, I finished my match, I'm watching the match next to me, and there's a dude who is just sitting there with the Blood Moon in play and four of the Black Artifact lands. And just like four red spells in hand. He's just not casting anything. And then the last turn of the game, he goes to dismember something. His opponent's like, you can't dismember that because these don't make black mana. And so he loses the game, right? And so after that, I message him and say, I, I turn to him and say, oh, is that why you didn't cast any of the red spells in your hand? Because you thought you didn't have any mountains. And the dude... The dude's face just goes completely white, like packs up his deck box faster than I've ever seen anybody, and and quietly walks away. Oh, uh, this hand's great, by the way. We have Search for Ascanta, which is the reason I'm playing this deck, because this card is sweet. And now we're fucking dead. We're just gonna fucking die to this fucking boggle. I thought you had a great hand. We do, but uh, this card's unbeatable. Then why don't you have that card in your hand? <laughs> it's not actually unbeatable, but uh, the, the the deck <laughs> I am playing can never beat it. Yeah, we're just we're just gonna concede. All right, let's see. It. it it won't let me... Okay. That's... We lost so hard, right. it wouldn't even let you quit. So we died. We're gonna grab... This stuff is good. Path is bad. Um, this stuff's good. Um... Shut up, Jawala. Well, 
we'll just we'll cut this negate. Maybe we want the negate. I think the more times you take it back and forth, the better it's going to be. Okay, well, I took it back and forth a lot then, so I should probably keep it in my deck. Yeah. All right, so we'll get rid of this one. All right. Um. Where Where's your witty commentary about your hand? We're gonna try to get a good card. We didn't. We didn't find a good card. That's also not a good you card. Put more good cards in your deck, babe. Yeah. <laughs> you're not. You're not helping. Oh, I didn't know I was supposed to be helping. <laughs> You, you, you just hear the shit on me while I lose the boggles? Pretty much. Oh my god, they don't have a boggle. Okay. Okay, chat. Chat, we, we actually probably get to win this game. So. Uh, put this on top. So unfortunately, winning this game means we have to give ourselves false hope and then lose game three. But until that happens, we can win this game. Do you care if Aurora eats your magic sleeves? Um, not particularly. Okay. She was eating them a minute ago. Um, I think I don't care about that. So I don't think they have a bagel. Which means we are going to attempt to get aggressive. So there are 84 people watching you do this okay. instead of watching fireworks right now. Yes. That is that is how it is happening. I see. And there's actually 85 people because you're currently watching me do this instead of watching fireworks right now. That's true. I am. But we live in the world where you don't know if the sounds are gunshots or fireworks. So. What the fuck? Um, I'm so confused. Why didn't he... Why didn't he play any of his cards? I don't... Alright, so new goal is to race the Boggle. So we're going to take this thing. Second. Just like gets another one. Sweet. I, I, need, I, need, I need you to leave. No. Yep. Is totally not up. Just saying. Jawala. It's definitely dark. We've been kicked out of the Opponent played that like a boggles player. Just like actual zero way for me to win if he doesn't walk there. So do do. Yeah, I know it has reach. I, I was considering trading my click for the boggle, but I think I think I just want to do it this way. Like as long as this thing doesn't have life link, I think we're actually okay. Like we can possibly race this. Yeah, this guy just like doesn't get it. That's okay though. Yeah, I, I understand that. Yeah. 
He attacked with the Boggle, man. The Boggle's big. Yeah, so, so the plan is just to, like, cryptic cap him into a win. Place another boggle. No. Yeah, that, that probably would have been right to wait. Definitely just, just solid play all around. Yeah, so this is fine. gonna be buckles we're gonna lose in game three but that's okay all right so based on how that went we're gonna do this um yep i think i think the rest of this is fine nah matt see like it looks lucky because i won a game versus boggles but really it's just it's just setting me up for disappointment when i get bodied in this game versus boggles we're gonna, we're gonna mulligan this hand dude it was you know we're only the best in the mtgo competitive leagues uh, I think we can keep this. See, like this game, he had a bo he's gonna have a boggle, and we're just like never gonna beat it. Oh well, I guess we can do this. I guess I guess we can kill this thing. I mean, Matt, you're currently watching me. If we're really lucky, we'll get to trade this Glade Clever Scout for Vendillion Click. Oh, that's first strike. We're dead. They drew an Umbra. Unbeatable. All right. We're going to hope he has no cards in hand. He sort of has no cards in hand. I definitely would have pathed there, but that's okay. Like, the only way of winning this game is by racing him with this Vendelian click. And this means he did not draw anything good. That's a card I can bolt. Yep.
So, uh, we win. We did it, chat. We beat Boggles. We did it! Yay! Yay! They were really dumb and let's beat them! Yay! We couldn't have ever beat that Path to Exile, but they didn't make us have it! Yay! We're attacking so we can kill them this turn. Yay! You could, man, but instead, instead you have this, like, shitty real job. Yay! So, Matt, you're, you're not going to believe this, but I, I'm actually undefeated um, in Sanctioned Magic versus Boggles with Jeskai decks. Because every Jeskai deck I've ever played has had one Engineered Explosives. And I always draw it in both post-board games and win. That's been actual every time I've played versus Boggles in an, in an important game of Magic. Well, are you gonna diss me for fireworks? Is that is that where we're going here, dude? It's it's this it's a skill game. See, like I had more skill than my opponent. They did not cast Path to Exile, and then I put the Path to Exile on the bottom of the library because I identified that I could not beat the Path to Exile. Alright, alright. We are 3 0 with Jess Guy. Can we go. Oh god, this hand light kind of sucks, so we're gonna keep it. Maybe negate will be good. If negate is good against whatever our opponent is doing, this hand's pretty great. But the likelihood that negate and wrath will be good is pretty poor. Alright, so I'm guessing in fact. Uh, I'm gonna guess in fact and try to find me some spot removal. I don't think I need this. It, it could also be Team or Kiki. What I like to do is I like to hope that my like I, I like to assume my opponent's on on the good version of whatever deck they're trying to play. We actually found the only matchup where both Wrath of God and Negate are playable cards. So, I think that's what you call running hot. Womp. All 
right, so the likelihood of I just die if I cast this Wrath of God is pretty low. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take this opportunity to do that. Uh, main deck Iron Claw was in Zan's list that just won the SCG, so I assume most people are just going to copy that list. There is a small chance I'm dead here, but it'd be pretty unlikely. Oh, I guess this could be become a man. So that makes it a little, a little more likely. Am I dead? Yeah, I'm dead. Um, not dead. Not dead. Not dead. Okay. I will accept not dead. So now if, if opponent has two two pieces of protection, I'm dead. Or two pieces of pump, I guess. Okay, so uh, sideboard here, I want this, I want the spells, I think negate's too expensive, I think Wrath, I think Wrath is good because I think he's going to be on, um, um, what's it called, Invisible Stalker. I cut searches in this matchup. Settle also seems pretty good. Trim a cryptic for that. Yeah, we're just we're just gonna do this. It's possible that casting the wrath was wrong and what ended up putting us in that position. Um, not not entirely sure. Um, yeah, you can, well, the, if you have like a second screen, there's a way to just pop out the chat in a separate window, but other than that, I don't believe so. You can put it on like theater mode or something, which makes it bigger. in these guys can they beat either of these cards oh they have they have unblockable dudes yeah okay yeah let's let's not do that
We're boarding this in uh, for Shaper Sanctuary plus Iron Claw plus um, the Nexus. All right, let's see what we got here. Sand is bad. Sand is fine. Watch is actually really good in this matchup. So. Let's see what we can do. Definitely looking for land here. Opponent playing textless Noble Hierarch. Powerful magic card. That's fine. So I'm going to attempt to path this thing and hope that they uh, protect it, and then I'm going to get it with Lux Flies. I guess it's kind of bad if they have mutagenic growth. Is that a thing I care about? I don't think it is. Don't. Hmm. hmm. Is that a thing I care about? I'll look really stupid on, on camera, but I think that's okay. So, because I drew this logic knot, uh, this is actually why I'm not electrolyzing here, because if they have a, a, um, what do you call it, a, just like a second threat, most notably, um, the guy who has sex proof, then I want to be able to logic knot that. I think we're just going to go for this here. Oh, well, I guess I don't have a stop in my turn. Now I do.
If they can say both of these, that'll be super awkward. Um, but not, not too bad. That's fine. So at some point they do this mutagenic growth. I'm not sure at which point. But feels pretty good that I didn't just die to it. My opponent goes for something here. I will um, cryptic bounce their noble in response. They don't expect them to. Yeah. They have two pump spells, this is bad for me. But if they don't, now I'm just like, if I don't do this, I'm just putting myself dead to, to them attacking with the noble once next turn. I think, I think I'll play around spell pierce here. I think that's worth doing. Alright. So that worked out well. Still don't know if he has Spell Pierce, but if it is, I do not see reason to get blown out by it here. Bounce this guy. Do this in response. Okay. Dead. 
Ugh. Yeah, that I that match did not, did not feel very good. Um, definitely could have just been me not knowing what I was doing, but it felt like we were just kind of trading one for one. Didn't have too many ways to really pull ahead, um, especially with all our burn getting countered by their pump spells. I'm not sure. Feel like it was possible I could have won that third game. Um, maybe I should have gone for the more aggressive electrolyzed line on like turn two or turn two or three. That's that's possibly where I where I threw it away. Maybe I was too cautious. That's fine. Gaze upon our hand opponent. This is like a pretty good hand versus uh, an Inquisition. I'm feeling like this is probably Mardu Pyro, which I think. We're fairly well set up to deal with with this hand here. And then in the board, I think Lyra and Baneslayer are both excellent. I think Ancestral is excellent. I think uh, Celestial Purge is also, Celestial Purge and uh, this thing are also very good. So fe feeling, feeling pretty well set up here. They can't, it's gonna be hard for them to pressure us too fast with double lightning bolts. So they can't take that with their, with their uh, Thoughtseize. If they have a bunch of a bunch of lingering souls, that could be rough for us. So hopefully they do not. That's a pretty good draw. Means that we can still cast a decent amount of spells even if they blood moon us here. Fetching Sacred Foundry makes me think we don't have blood moon, which is good, but it makes me think they do have lingering souls, which is obviously bad. Hold that. Discard a bolt. All right, so I think I'm in the mood to trade my my lightning bolt here for basically any card in their hand so i'm going to to hold it if they if they cast spells in such a way that they will not hmm. faithless living sure So with this, discard blood moon terminate. I think I actually want to discard this here. Uh, d discard the mountain rather.
and Aronix. Who who is that? Clearly, there's no need to watch him. I will give you all the streaming you desire. It sounds like I should be posting in the modern thing. Oh shit, a webcam? Damn. So, d is, is that like actually a thing involving stream quality? Cause I, I generally do not care if my opponent has a webcam or they do not have a webcam. Um, I'm just gonna do this because if if I can hit a land here and cast this to fairy, I think I'm super far ahead. Land. Well, that's that's probably gonna get eaten by the Liliana, but that's okay. Um, yeah. We're just going to make some guys. And win the game. Alright, I, I have learned that I need to post in modern and then people will care about my stream. Posting in Magic General has failed me. Two sacred foundries. Okay. I can get behind this. So next turn, if I draw a land, I can go uh, to fairy, hold up cryptic. If I do not draw a land, or supreme verdict, hold up cryptic. If I don't draw a land, I'll still probably be all right. To a land. Fairy is so good. Just so good. Um, I don't think I care about that actually. I don't, f dude. Cause I I have to fairy man. He's he's like trading even on cards, and I'm over here drawing an extra card every turn. And I'll like tuck this at some point. That's, that's the dream, but I don't think that's necessary. Like if he, if she upticks it again, I'm probably just gonna, just gonna discard this path and not, not care too much. Yeah. Like maybe we're just trading some like fairly good resources for lands, but I don't think, I don't think there's really any way for my opponent to win.
I guess I'll just get rid of this now. I have, I have Snap Cryptic up. And, it, so, and the best thing they can draw here is probably uh, Lingering Souls. And I have Electrolyze, Snap Electrolyze to clean that up as well. So, not super worried. Yeah, that is, that is the thing. Two, three, four, five, yeah. So I can snap electrolyze here and still have still have cryptic mana up, so we're gonna do that. The fact that Teferi Ramps is completely unreasonable, like having all this mana at your disposal in, in a control deck, it just gives you so much freedom with what you want to do on each turn, it allows you to be both proactive and reactive. Okay, so Negate's not very good, Celestial Purges are, Lyra and Baneslayer are, um, Wrath and Spring Verdict are fine, I think, I think Path isn't very good. Um, I don't I don't love ramping my opponent in this matchup. Uh, I think these two cards are very good. Trim on a bolt. Yeah, this this looks like. Uh, I want this thing. So we can trim on a. Maybe like trim one logic not for that. Right, I'm gonna need some water. I'll be right back, guys. Okay. Do I want Surgical? Surgical on Souls is pretty good. <gasps> it's probably just being too cute. Kind of what doing. This is black and red, right? Yeah, so this thing can also take out Leyline of the Void. Uh, this hand's pretty good. This hand is pretty good. This I'm not super worried about. Um, I was a little bit scared about Leyline if they were to have that, but this 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 card is whatever. Pyromancer? Yeah. I 
think this lost your purse has a bit more value left in it than the than the uh, the other thing. If our opponent blood moods us, will be pretty sad. But I don't think they're going to. Yeah. Okay. This is fine. Remember, guys, if you're enjoying the stream, to please throw me a follow. It lets you know when I go live, and hopefully you can see some more sweet decks. Really, really enjoying this one. Doing, doing fairly well in honor of America. So, if um, if my hand was situated a little bit differently, I might consider not electrolyzing here and trying to get value off the Supreme Verdict. However, no matter what land I draw, I'm not going to be able to Verdict next turn. And so, I want to just focus on not taking a ton of damage and trying to get to uh, all my land drops, which the draw card will help me do. What's he doing? Get back this discard a card? Okay. Yeah, prototype. I we're uh we are three three one right now. Got roughed up a little bit by Infect in the last round, but this is this is game two of this round, and we're looking pretty good. So actually, gonna call it a stream after this. Fiance is going to bed soon, but hey, man. So my my leagues that I've played on stream, I five would with Mardu. I've not done well with Just Guys Tendency, and I've not done well with, um, with what do you call it? Not done well with Just Guys Tendency, and I, not, not Just Guys Tendency. Oh, God, what's it called? Five out with, five out with Mardu. Doing pretty well in this league. Not done well with Thing That Extension, not done well with Hard Scale. So, the, the good decks I've played, <laughs> I've done well with. If my opponent just like slams this Nile spell bomb, I will probably yeah snap opt in response. Chat, chat is not a competitive advantage. Also, my fiance coming in here and distracting me is also not a competitive advantage. Thank you for the follow moots. Hope you're enjoying the content. Yeah, moots. I, I pretty much only play modern uh, in real life. I had a stint where I played a lot of... Uh, it's fine. I had a stint where I played a lot of standard. Uh, back when... Back when Green Black Delirium was a deck. Um, but since the, the current standard format does not do a whole lot to interest me. If I'm being honest, um, I might I might give Legacy a shot with the with the new with the new unbanning because that should shake up the format a good bit. But Legacy is definitely much less my format than than Modern is. Um, I think we just want to do this now.
this incentivizes our opponent to to Nile Spell Bomb. Yeah, I I definitely feel you on that. I started uh, when I started playing. I started with Modern. I I was hanging out with some friends and they brought Magic and I said, oh, you know, that was the thing I played, <laughs> you know, back back when I was a little kid and we just had, you know, whatever cards uh, we opened in boosters. And so I gave it a shot, built a, a Gruul aggro deck with Uktabi Drake, and took that to to uh, my first modern FNM, and it was close enough to burn that I won uh, one of the promo Serum Visions. And so that was, that was pretty exciting. And uh, from there, I guess I've just been hooked. Are you telling your backstory? I am telling my backstory. Was it inspirational? It was inspirational. Yeah, I missed it. I know you missed you missed my backstory. For those of you who don't know, this is my fiance. She's hanging out. Am I gonna get introduced every time I walk into the room? You're gonna get introduced every time because there are new people every time. You have fewer people now. I do. You'll probably get less introduced if we have a camera and people can see you. Hmm. What about my goblin mask? Uh, I don't think Jeff's actually gonna send you a goblin mask. Any of the 75 others of you want to send me a goblin mask? <laughs> if y'all if y'all want to send a goblin mask, we can we can put that on fiance. Is that just my name now? Beyonce? Her name is Tori. Like Beyonce? Yes, like exactly like Beyonce. I don't think I look like Beyonce. <laughs> You're white, babe. Okay, if Matt gets to be black, I get to be black, too. <laughs> That's not how that works. <laughs> I'm waiting for Matt, more Matt Belante pictures to show up. They're falling down on the job. Joala, what you doing? <laughs> Sleeping? Joala, Joala, might not, uh, Joala not, might not be in here anymore. He just sent Matt Belmonte pictures. No, this this was a while ago. <sighs> Bye, babe. I have, I have plenty of white sources because I daily want to play the Spain Slayer. Um, the discard of the Dread Boar. <laughs> Prototype. It's it's America Day. You got you got to go do America things. That's fine. Um, I grabbed this list from the third place list at the one of the GPs, the European one, I think. So we're just trying it out. Um, I have liked how I, I've, I've definitely passed with both open, which has been nice and opt digs you deeper um, on the turn you're looking for stuff. And modern is definitely a format where you want to find where you want to find your specific stuff, right? So not exactly sure what's better, but uh, this felt pretty good. Opt is also much better game one in uh, bl when you're blind, because you can just hold it up when you don't exactly know what you're looking for on turn one. I'm gonna keep that. We don't, um, uh, do we need that? We don't have the hollow fountain. Uh, yeah, we do. Um, I think we'll keep, no, I don't think we need that. I 
Yeah, yeah, that's that's definitely true. You're, you're playing eight fetch lands. You wanna you wanna get them out of the way early. And that's another thing, right? If you have a serum vision on turn one and you don't know what you're up against, you're gonna wanna just fetch shock serum visions. But there are definitely matchups where you you look at what your opponent's doing and say, oh, actually, what I wanna do is fetch a tap land and then do the thing later. We ideally want to stay above three to protect against Bolt. Yes? It's almost ten. I know. I'm almost done with this game. <laughs> no, she said it's almost ten. Which, which is when she goes to bed. And it is... It is loud in this room. Hopefully we can find a cryptic here. Um, I think we'll take the logic knot. And I think more importantly than protecting the search for Ascanta, we just want to use that to protect the Baneslayer Angel and then Baneslayer should be able to take us home here. Actually, this makes us dead to bolt, so we're not gonna do that. I am a dirty liar. That, that should lock up the game here. I'm just going to hit him with this three times. They have a maximum of two to three answers for this Bane Slayer in their deck. So unless they're somehow sitting on two, uh, we should be able to burn him out. Yep, that's fine. Um, yeah, it's fine. Are you going to win? Yeah, I'm just going to check. Yeah, there we go. All right. That was a solid 4-1. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And you have a good rest of your night. Have a good fourth.